Once again, welcome back to Dave's Workshop. So in the last video, we went a little long, took a, a lot of detail in prepping the foam. So this next time, what we're going to do is, is take and break the next two pieces down into two separate videos. So in this video, we're going to cover painting the model, and in the next video, we're going to cover uh, detailing the model. So as you can see, what I've done so far is I've got the model, we've done the clear coat, and the primer is done. So the, the model is ready for paint. All right, so here's a secret to how I get the results I get. I use a latex-based house paint. And this is Valspar uh, acrylic latex. It's uh, done by uh, ProBuild here where, where I live. And they didn't realize that they could actually mix this stuff to federal standards. So we went down, we entered the federal standard number into their computer, <laughs> spit out the mix, bada boom, we've got paint. Uh, I use just regular old windshield washer fluid. This is like the $2 a gallon stuff you get at Walmart. I use that to mix with. It has uh, the alcohol in it. Uh, does a, a good job with this paint. And then I use this product called Floetrol. And Floetrol slows the flashing of the paint down a little bit. allows it to spread. Now when you shoot this stuff on the model, the first thing it's going to do is it's going to look horrible. <laughs> it's going to look like it's, it's all orange peeled. And you're going to go, oh my god. But you just need to walk away and go get a cup of coffee and then come back and what you'll find is the paint will have, have smoothed out, it dries very well, very nice, flat, even appearance. When I'm painting with latex, I like to use these kinds of guns and this is a, a high volume, low pressure gun. This is a standard size gun, this is a detail gun or touch up gun and of course this is my airbrush. And I'll use that same mixture of 50-50 on the latex paint and a windshield washer fluid. These guns handle that very well. Other guns I've used didn't like it so much, but these three uh, seem to do very well with that. So here I'm just starting to apply the first coats of white using the detail gun. And the object of this first coat is just to get some tackiness across the whole surface. So if you, we'll zoom in here in a second and let you look at it. And again, like I said, you'll think, oh my word, what have I done? But you're gonna be really surprised and really pleased when you see how this turns out. Okay, so here's the first coat just freshly applied. Now, you'll see how it's, it looks like orange peel. We're not going to worry about this. We're going to come back in about half an hour, 45 minutes, and give it another shot. And this stuff will have all evened out by then. It's going to look really nice. All right, finishing up the last of this coat. This will be the last of the coats on the bottom of the wing. And you can see this stuff is going on very smoothly, very nicely. Very happy with this stuff. So here we have the A10 in a wet coat. And we're sitting up on top of our stand here. We'll keep this for about 24 hours, let it dry nice and hard, and then we'll flip it and do the other side. So all together, this is a several night long process. We're gonna do white tonight, white again tomorrow, and then a night for green, another night for green, and then Probably a night with the, with the dark grays, just with an airbrush and touch-up. The A10 now has a nice coat of white on it. Uh, it's nice and hard. It's going to provide us a nice surface to start drawing on our other color schemes. So what I do is very simple. I take a three view and number two pencil. And we're just going to sketch this right on here. So what we're going to do is we're, we've done the white. We're going to do the dark green and finally the gunmetal uh, gray uh, and shades. So we're going to do this next step after we sketch it on with an airbrush. So we have a colored three view here and it shows on the fuselage left side this upper half is dark green, lower half is the dark gray. So we're going to start with that. And really we're not, we're not doing this as a scale masters type of a project here. We're just going to get something that looks pretty good. So we're just going to start off here. We're going to try to match this line. Come around here. So 
So here you see some of the lines I started to draw on the plane. Because this camouflage scheme spills out so much across the fuselage and wings and tail section, we're going to go ahead and put the wings on so everything's together as I sketch out these lines. It'll make it the whole process uh, a lot easier. So here you see this is laid out with the drawings and then each section labeled as black or green just for simplification and it's extended across the whole of the fuselage and the wing. So this whole thing should flow together from side to side and top to bottom. So we've uh, shot our coats of white, that's all done. We've shot some green, now I'm going back through and kind of just trimming up the green a little bit. Alright, get that looking nice. Find a gun that you're comfortable with. Some people like uh, airbrush, some people like uh, these detail guns. I like the detail guns, um, but use whatever you're comfortable with. This one allows me to turn things down much like an airbrush. But after we're done with this, we're going to go in and lay in some gray shading and then pretty much done. All right, so most of the painting is complete. We've got a couple little touch-ups to do, but we start off with the white. We go with a complete white surface. Uh, after that, we added the green, the sage green. Then we added the gunmetal gray around. Here is the shading. It's starting to really come together. It looks looks really nice. We're going to next add a coat of clear polyurethane. We're going to seal this, lock it down tight. Then we're going to add the decals, and then one more coat of light uh, clear poly to seal the decals in. And then we're pretty much ready to go fly. So uh, this last uh, video, we've covered a lot of the part about painting, getting it ready to paint, putting the paint on the airplane. Next video we're going to talk about the last minute detailing to include some panel line work and decals. So tune back in and we'll see you at the flying field.